Glory to you, O giver of light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. Good will among the people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us, for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless Lord, you. Have mercy. I will praise your name forever. Lord, have mercy. To the ages of ages, count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day Lord, without have mercy. sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your For name you are is great and we give glory, glorified. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the age of ages. Amen. Amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord. Teach me to please you, for you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life. And in your life we see light. Pour forth your mercy on those who know you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Oh, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Oh, holy God, oh, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Oh, holy God, holy mighty, Amen. 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 Amen.
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for those who are into it, faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Archbishop Alexios, the Honorable Presbyter, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For fable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their for salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all afflictions, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, men are most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady to Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of your wondrous things. In the council of the upright in the assembly, great are the works of the Lord. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, Lord our God, Savior, keep and bless your inheritance. Sought out in all things with regard to his will. Sanctify those who love the beauty of the house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Again and again. 
again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come now, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. You, Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. He will delight exceedingly in his commandments. So sonny masia feo, o erta tenu tactis, salon dasi alleluia. His seed shall be mighty on the earth. Sero so son of God, who were born of the virgin. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. Glory and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness continues unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come now, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. <laughs> Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one heart. You have promised to grant the requests of two or three who are gathered in your name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the world to come. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Oh, Master and Lord God, you establish in heaven the order of hosts and angels and archangels and minister of glory. Grant that your holy angels may enter with the and may serve and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Stars were by a star instructed to worship you, the Son of Righteousness, and to know you as Orion from on high. Glory to you, O Lord. Sophia. Oh, thee. From the womb. 
home before the morning star. I have given birth to you. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. Save us, O Son of God, who was born of the Virgin. We sing to you, Alleluia. Christe Opeosimon, Anetileto Cosmoto Fostantis Noseos, Enatigaritis Astis Latreondes, Iposteros Edinas Tondo, Se Prostini, On this day the Virgin gives birth to the super to the unapproachable. Earth is providing the grotto. Angels sing, and with the shepherds offer of glory. Following the star, the magi of proceeding, he was born for our salvation, a newborn child, the pre-eternal God. Let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> Lord, have mercy. For ti agi, O si, O te, O Simon, que sit in box on an upper woman, to Patrick, que tu yo, que tu agi, O pnev matinin, que agi. Que es tu se onas donde o non. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy God, you dwell among your saints who are praised by the seraphim of the thrice, only him and glorified by the chairman and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You have brought all things out of nothing into being. You've created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom our saints that suffer and honor who look to sinner but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You have enabled us your holy will serve the saints of the Lord. We also all of you brought the worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice, holy him also from the list of the sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives by the intercessions of the Holy Theodophus and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Lean 
enemies with conviction. Bless Master of Jesus. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless Master of the Lord. Son of the kingdom, who is seated upon the chair, but always now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Attentive. Let all the earth worship you and sing praises to you. Shout with joy to God, all the earth. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when the time had fully come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir of God through Christ. Peace be with you who proclaims the reading. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Master who loves us, shine your eternal light in our hearts that we may better know you. Help us to fully understand your gospel message. Instill in us reverence for your blessed commandments so that having conquered all sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, are God, the light of our souls and bodies, and you we give glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. With your heart's spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his, his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them, where the Christ was to be born. Then he told them in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, and you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who will govern my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. When they heard the king, they went their way, and, and lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came to rest over the place where the child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And and going into the house, they saw a child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel. Again, we bow before you, our loving God, and ask that you hear our prayer. Cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit. 
and grant that also, God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love and partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. O posi patucarato su pando te filatomeni, si doxana na pembo men, to patrike to io ke to agio pnebmati, nin ke agi, ke su se ona so ne ono. approach to draw near a minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for the angelic powers, but forgive magical love for us, you became man, but not the ratio of change, you served as a high priest and as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice at the shedding of blood, for you alone, Lord our God, who over all things in heaven and on earth, you are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel, you alone are holy and good among your saints, you alone are good and ready to hear, therefore I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and enable me Cleanse my soul and heart from your conscience, namely by the power of your Holy Spirit, so vested with the grace of priests, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do I come about head and pray? Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, are the one who offers and is offered, who receives and distributed, and to you give glory to your eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice only hymn to the life-giving Trinity, let us lay aside all worldly cares. Amen. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin I will never bear me. Behold, you desire truth in me, where being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, hold me the willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you would no delight in sacrifice were I to give up an offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God. You will not despise. Do good, O Lord, your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. And and those who love us. Let us set aside all cares of life. Let us set aside all cares of life. Let us set aside
Quando ni mo ni si chiedi o soffio, arriva silly of tu pando te, ninke ahi che i su se onas tone onno. Τότες δρέπτη μάρε τόριλο κρέστην σα Βάπομεν για σκαντόμ νουλιε ντόμνιε ζουν τρου Ιμ παρασία σα το έδαε ου ανακούμ Σι πορειε λέει εν βέτσι βέτσι λόρε Το κόσπο κβόξπο μιενέτς βένα τσου τσάρβος βόγε Svada sadek i uveki u sve vekuva. Er, Senor Dios, se acuerde de nosotros en su reino eternamente, ahora y siempre por los siglos de los siglos. May the Lord God remember all of you in his kingdom, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. May the Lord remember you, priesthood, and unto the ages of ages, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. May the Lord God remember you, priesthood, and unto the ages of ages, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. May the Lord God remember you, priesthood, and unto the ages of ages, then bullock shall be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. For this holy house, for those who are entered faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Η πέτρη στην αίμα από πάση θρύψεω οργή κινδύνων και ανάγκη του κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λαϊσό, help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Lord God Almighty, you are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise and the for a Christian and to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask the Lord. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. 
through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another with one mind, we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence and inseparable. Before we offer the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed, I'm going to ask to come forward the Mitorotonda family along with their sponsors who are here today. We have a beautiful family, like we did last week, who is entering into the Holy Orthodox Christian faith. We are indeed blessed. They are faithful people who have come to us, and they indeed have done the special and important requirements of what is necessary to become an Orthodox Christian. We are indeed are blessed, and we look forward to a blessed life together in the faith. And I ask you all, please, come forward. Light the one. Oh, blessed are you, O Christ our God, who by sending down the Holy Spirit upon them made the fishermen wise and through them illumined the world and through you the universe was ever drawn. All oh, glory to you, O Lord. You can repeat after me. Today, I, by the grace of God, in my own free will, having received proper instruction, changed by the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit from the Roman Catholic faith, and accept the Orthodox faith, and confess before God and man. And then together we recite the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Repeat. I further confess and accept the traditions of the Orthodox Church of the Orthodox Church, through which I seek to be made worthy, which I seek to be made worthy. A, faithful servant of the Lord, a faithful servant of the Lord, by keeping His commandments, by keeping his commandments that are pleasing to Him in all things. This I ask, this I ask through the grace through the and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord to, whom Christ. Christ. to whom is due all glory. Amen. The servant of God, Gregory, is tonsured in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Sophia, is tonsured in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Lucia, is tonsured in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Dimitrios, is tonsured in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
as Father Alex chrismates with the sign of the cross and says the words, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, we all respond with, Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hold that. Hold that. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Whoever wishes to follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Put that on him. Which is you? Whoever wishes to follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Put that on him. Whoever wishes to follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Whoever wishes to follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And now we all exclaim with a loud cry, Oxy! Oxy! Welcome to the faith. God bless you. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Amen. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. Repikion in the Nathonda, Bunda, Kekaragota, Kelehunda, Agios, 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 Holy, holy, holy Lord, Sabbath, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, merciful master, we also proclaim and say you are holy and most holy. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands. He gave thanks. He blessed. He consecrated. He broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Lavete, fayete, tutum estito soma. To iperimon clomenon is afes in amartion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Pietex of tu pandes, tu to estito emmamu. To tis genis diathikis, to iperimon ke. Martion. Likewise, after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering therefore all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension in heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. We offer to you these gifts, from your own gifts in all and for all. 
Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Father, bless the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Holy Changing Gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith of forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confess ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. For Saint John the Prophet, for the Saints, for the Saints Maccarine whose memory commemorate day, the Magi, and all of your Saints. Maximus and Zoe, George, and Athanasius, George, and Anastasius, Alexander, and Theodora, Athanasius, Priest, Artemidos, Yanni, Athanasius, Socrates, the Priest, Kalalambos, George, Cleopatra, Constantine, James, and grant them rest, our God, the light of your countenance shines. Again, we ask you, remember all the bishops who read the peace word of your truth, all prayers and deacons in the service of Christ, everyone in holy orders. We also offer to you the spiritual worship of the whole world for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those living in purity and holiness. And for those in public service, permit them more to serve and govern in truth that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also those of each of us calls the mind and all your people. And all your Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches, and who care for the poor. And send your mercy upon us all, we pray, O Lord. For those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world, for peace in the Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors, for those who have suffered and still are suffering from the effects of Hurricane Ian, for the servants of God, Eleni, George, Ron, Mary, Lubav, Kay, Steve, Danis, Margarita, Gus, Sergio, George, Spiridon, Judy, Dawn, Angela, Elena, Gary, Kim, Eileen, David, Barbara, June, Peter, Ian, Fotini, Betty Ann, Mariana, Evelyn, Michali, Angela, Mary Dax, Mary Jane, Wendy, Allen, Nick, Monica, and Andrew, Arthur and Kay, Angela, Susil, Nicodin the priest, John the priest and family, Aphrodite, Mateus, Cristina, Zafiria, Sofianos, Thanos, Angeliki, Yorgiu, Vasilio, Maria, Edvipidi, Mia, Zoe, Evangelu, Ketechnon, Elenis, Evangelias, John, Stelio, John, Dimitrios, Aristeas, Fortini, and Ioana, Evangelias, the children and grandchildren, Ekaterini, Eleni, Afrosini, Ekaterini, Mikhail. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may praise and glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all and with your spirit. Christ is born. Glorify, Glorify him. Christos yenate voxasate. 
Indeed, such a beautiful evening tonight as we gather for the candlelight evening divine liturgy as we celebrate the nativity of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have a lot of joy in my heart tonight for many reasons, for our beautiful family that just entered into the Holy Orthodox Christian faith, for all of you, our St. Mark faithful, who are here worshiping with us, for our parish council, our philoptikos, all of our ministry leads, so thankful. For as you notice, a new tradition that we start tonight, all of my black robes in the altar who are my former captains of the altar, and it is such a blessing to have them here. It brings us joy as they come and join our altar boys. You'll notice at St. Mark, we stop passing trays. We do so because we truly believe that we don't want to nickel and dime you when you come to church, but rather we want you to come and give of yourself fully through your stewardship to the church. So as I do every few months, I ask that for those of you who are here worshiping with us, not visiting, but here worshiping with us on a regular basis to become members of the church, to become stewards of the church. By doing so, you are supporting these awesome beautiful ministries and worship that we have here at St. Mark. You are supporting the upkeep of this beautiful temple. You are supporting all those things that are important. But most importantly, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, you are given the opportunity to give to God, to give to Him something special in your life, to offer Him back something that He gives and offers you. So I ask you today, if you are not a steward and that you are here regularly, to fill out your card and to drop it in the back of the church. We are not passing any trays tonight, but rather we are giving thanks to God that he was born into this world so that all of us have the opportunity now to become like him. And like him means to be godly people living in this life. May our Lord Jesus Christ, who was born in the cave 2,000 years ago, bless us, sanctify us, inspire us, and lift us up always. Amen. All the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Εκδεξίας ον ημάς δέσφωτα, μετά παρησίας ακατακρίτως τολμάν επικαλείσεσέ τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγειν Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής αγιασθείτε το όνομά σου, ελφέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου όσα περωτώ και αυτή της εσείς. Τον άρτον ημιών των επιούσιων δώσε μην σήμερα και άφησε μην τα αφηλήματα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμεν τη φαλά της ημών, και εμείς ενέγγιση εμάς της περασμών, αλλά ρίσε εμάς από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us. And now in Ukrainian, in solidarity with our brothers and sisters who are suffering. Oche nash izesi na nebesi, ni ha syatia imya toya, ni ha pridet sasvia toya, ni ha bude voya toya, yak na nebi, taki na zemli, hreb nas nasnushni daz nam sohodni. I posti nam provina nashi, yak ina prosayemo vinetsvatsiam nashim, i neve vedni nas poskosu, ali vizoli nas vih likavaho. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
to the Lord. O you, o Lord. Master, look down from heaven upon those of us here who have bowed our heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick physician of our souls and our bodies. Lord the Jesus grace, Christ, mercy, and love Lord, for us Lord, of your Lord, only begotten Lord, Son, Lord. with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, proskomen. Amen. The holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and divided for every and ever consumed, sanctified by those who partake of Him. Jesus Christos Nika. The cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy on them. My brothers and sisters, my brothers, forgive me. Behold, I will Christ on the name of God. For their missions in life, Father, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen, amen. As you touch my lips, my sins are of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is born. Christos yenate voxasate. For those of you who know me, you know that I'm a planner. I like to schedule. I like to plan. I like to implement. I spend a lot of time reviewing my life. I set goals. I don't always meet them, but I set goals. I evaluate. I reevaluate. I push myself to go just a little further in various areas, in my spiritual life, in my emotional makeup, with my family, with my physical walk in life, trying to stay healthy, with our St. Mark Parish. I believe that goals help us live more in the now. I used to pride myself in being a multitasker. I could do many things I would tell people all at once. My wife would remind me that multitasking is not possible. She would tell me that your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. After years of thinking differently than her, I can say now she was absolutely right. Multitasking hinders your performance. It doesn't allow you to truly focus it doesn't allow you to give 100% to that task at hand. You might think it does, but it doesn't. Multitasking doesn't allow you to be in the moment, in the present. This evening, I want to talk about presence. Not the presence we have all been thinking about, purchasing, hiding, shipping, getting ready to give a loved one but being in the presence, to be present in each moment given to us. One goal I find myself setting each and every week and reminding myself each and every day is to be present. To be present in prayer. To be present with my daily tasks. To be present with my family. To be present to my St. Mark faithful and today to be present with the feast. In this season, one gift transcends all other gifts, a gift which shifts focus from presence to presence. 
God's gift of the Christ child is more significant, of more ultimate value than anything we are able to give. Through the Christ child, we have life. We know life and we share life. Because of the Christ child, we give with a new spirit and a new love and a new freedom. God has shown us the perfect example of giving. Now we can offer a bit of ourselves as a sign that the Christmas spirit has taken root in our lives. Just as God has chosen to be with us, now we can be with others. And for no other reason than just to be together. One of my favorite authors is a Roman Catholic theologian. His name is Henry Nouwen. He tells the story of a student who many years after graduation returned to sit in his old professor's office. He was a professor. When the student entered, he told his professor that he didn't need anything. He just came to visit to be together. They sat for a while in silence and looked at each other. One broke the silence by telling the other how nice it was to see each other. The other agreed, and then there was silence. Then the student said, when I look at you, it is as if I am in the presence of Christ. The professor remembers that did not startle or surprise him, and that he could only respond with, it is the Christ in you who recognizes the Christ in me. The student replied with the most healing words that Nowin has ever heard. Yes, Christ indeed is in our midst. From now on, wherever you go or wherever I go, all the ground between us will be holy ground because we recognize the Christ in our midst. Our culture puts such an emphasis on planning, on productivity, on doing things, solving problems, making plans, producing products. The, the idea of getting together just for the sake of being together is so foreign that when we do come together, we often fail to see Christ in one another because of this uneasy feeling that we ought to be doing something. The wonder of this night is that the presence of Christ is with us so that we can genuinely be together. We can gen genuinely be with each other. Think back to 2,000 years ago. For you on this side of the church, you can see the beautiful icon. For you on this side, look at it when you leave. <laughs> Think about it. On that holy night, the shepherds, the magi, the wise men, the sheep, the oxen, Joseph and Mary, even the heavenly hosts, the Christ child, Jesus Christ, brought them all together. The newborn Savior brought all of the world, all of humanity together on this one night. And this evening, the Christ child brings all of us together, not in Bethlehem, not in Bethlehem, but in Boca Raton, not in a manger, but right here in our St. Mark Church. Our focus is not on the world, but on Christ. And through our love for Christ, we can be in the presence of our loved ones. Tonight, we do not multitask, but draw our undivided attention on Jesus Christ and through Christ each other. This is the holiest night of the year. It requires of us reflection and self-examination. And it brings to us the promise that we can be with each other in more meaningful ways. Through the presence of Christ in us, we recognize the presence of Christ in each other. We can listen and really hear what we are saying to each other. We can share one another's pain and make it our own. We can know of one another's joys and celebrate if they were our own. Christmas is ultimately about a God whose giving included reaching out through an innocent baby to embrace a hurting world. On this night, God chooses to be with us so that we might be with one another. 
when you go home, put down your phones, spend time with each other, look into each other's eyes, share Christ in your midst. May God's love shape our relationships. May God's wisdom guide our decisions. May God's glory touch our ordinary lives. May God's presence in the manger teach us to be present with our loved ones. And may God's gift this night live in us and through us that we may experience in each other the very presence of Jesus Christ. It all starts now for those of us who are prepared and Orthodox Christians to come forward and to receive the body and blood of Christ, to receive communion so that we are uniting with him and thus all of us who are here, all of the millions who celebrate throughout the world, all of us together living in his presence. To glory be to Jesus Christ, amen. Christ is born. Please rise. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the, the Son, Son of God, of who, came who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown. And make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief, I confess you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. The povo teo pis teos que gapis proselfete. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. the Lord are great. is honorable and glorious. The Lord has sent redemption to His people. His righteousness endures forever. made his one.
wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord has sent redemption to his people. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Oh, give thanks, thanks.
thanks unto the Lord, for he is his God. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever and ever. Alleluia. So listen to the so save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life you create, create on the awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life on you, Christ our God. For you are our sanctification, and to you we owe for glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the entire body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces stationed throughout the world, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift comes from you from above, the Father of lights, whom we glorify, thank, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, God is fulfilled the law and the prophets. <speaking in Hebrew> Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. O ono makiri ui ev lagi manon, apotunin keos tu eono. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who was born in a cave for our salvation, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiser of the apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy righteous answer of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy in us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. 
Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and us and save us. Dios conto na yung paterni mo ang kiriyos su Kriste o Theos, eleison ke so sonimas. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. Christ is born. Glorify Him. A beautiful day. I wish all Chronia Pola for those who celebrate the 24th, Evgenia, Evgenios. I know there are a few of you. And also on Christmas Eve and Christmas, the Christos, the Christinas, the Emmanuels, and all of those. May God bless you. For those of you who wish to come tomorrow morning, you are able to 8.45 Orthodox, 9.45 a.m. Liturgy. Or may you may stay home and be in the presence of your family. May God bless you all. Christ is born. Sing in exaltation 